Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at the audio editor Audacity. So Audacity is an open source audio editing application that you can download and use for free on your Mac. You can get it at audacity.sourceforge.net. You can use it to create and edit audio files. Let's take a look. So here's what Audacity looks like. It gives you all these controls at the top and a workspace here in the middle. To add a sound to it, you can either open a sound file or record your own. Recording, you should start with preferences and go in there and select the recording input device. You can choose from any of the microphone type devices that you have attached to your Mac. Once you've selected that, you can simply press the record button and record some audio and then press stop to stop. Now you've got the waveform here of what you've said. To play back audio, just hit the play button. You could also select an area and just listen to that. Now you can use cut, copy, and paste and delete just as you would say if you were editing text. So for instance, I can edit out the silence at the beginning by selecting and hitting delete. I can edit out this portion here by selecting it, hitting delete, or I could say cut it and then paste it somewhere in the middle. Not only that, but I can record more tracks. So for instance, I already have this bit recorded here. I can hit record again and record a second track. And it will record it down here and mix it with the first one. There's also a lot you can do inside Audacity. You can select an area and you can apply an effect. It has tons of effects in here. Some of them are more like special effects like phaser and reverse and echo, things like that. Others are more basic like changing the speed, pitch, tempo uh, of a particular section of the sound. When you're done editing a sound, you can save it out and it will save it in an Audacity format so you can open it up and have all the tracks and everything there again. You can also export it out. You can export it in various formats depending upon how you have Audacity set up. By default, it will export things as WAV files. You can also export as MP3 if you add an optional package to Audacity. It gives you instructions on how to uh, get that MP3 exporter in there and uh, different formats as well. You can change it to export it in more of a Mac-like format uh, by going to File Formats and selecting AIFF as the default export format. And that just scratches the surface. If you go to the Audacity site, there's a help section and in there there's complete documentation, quick reference guide. There are even tutorials on how to do some common tasks. Now you can also do a lot of this in GarageBand, but GarageBand has a lot of overhead. There's a huge interface with the whole music composition side to it. With Audacity, you're simply editing sound files and it's easier to get in and out. If you do any work with sound on your Mac, Audacity is a must have. So check out Audacity, download it, install it, add it to your tools, and if you can, donate to help the development. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.